Have you guys ever looked at all the different names that car manufacturers use for what we call VVT, VTech, EcoTech, or VVTI? There's a lot of different terminologies for it. But if you ever ask yourself, what the heck is VVT this time on Low Boost? I'm gonna go over exactly what variable valve timing is. As engines have evolved over the years, manufacturers have gotten very innovative when it comes to producing engines that are both more efficient and more powerful. And they were really able to do that with something that's called variable valve timing. With more modern cars, they, a lot of them have overhead camshafts, either single or dual, that open up your intake valves and your exhaust valves. And for a long time, the duration and the amount of millimeters that those valves were open was always a fixed amount. Whether you were at the bottom of the rev range or the top of the rev range, you, you were limited to as much intake and exhaust duration as you could handle because that's all there was. You didn't have the fuel efficiency you were looking for at lower RPMs because you had all the power at higher RPMs because the exhaust and intake durations were higher. Or vice versa, you had great gas mileage, but you had terrible power up top because you didn't have, because the duration of the exhaust and intake valves were not open for that long. This episode is brought to you by Extreme Powerhouse. Whether you have a BMW, a Kia Stinger, an Audi, or a Ford Mustang, make sure you check them out. They have a number of performance parts for a ton of different makes and models. And if you go on there and use my coupon code that I'll put in the description below, you'll get access to some extra special discounts. Variable valve timing was able to change the camshaft lobe settings while the engine is running, usually with something that's called like an eccentric shaft or however other manufacturers do it, to allow an engine to have lower lift and lower duration for the camshaft timing at lower RPMs. But once it hit a certain point, the camshaft would actually adjust and allow the valve springs and the duration of the intake valves to be open for much longer. The big one we hear all the time is VTEC because it was very pronounced when you hit VTEC. Once it hit a certain part of the rev range, the car actually woke up like crazy and became a lot faster. <laughs> That is variable valve timing. It was just more pronounced on VTEC engines, but a lot of modern cars have it. BMW calls it Vanos. If you're interested in more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing videos like this rapid fire every Monday. If you're interested in learning a more simple and easy explanation onto all these car terms, these videos are for you. Thank you guys very much for watching. In the meantime, check out these videos that I already have ready to go.